Hi everyone, this is Sunet, and in this video I would like to expand on a post that I'd made in my blog Moments With Me. And this is in relation to learning. And uh, this video has been inspired by uh, my observations of a little boy growing up and uh, his experience um, or experiences with learning. So um, you can read uh, a bit more in, in my blog. I posted the link um, in this description box. So from there, in, in terms of having a look at how you know, he, he learned the, the fist bumping, um, you know, when you go fist bump and boom. <laughs> um, and, you know, he, he took to it quite quickly. Um, but then, you know, there's some things that he, he takes some time to, to, to unlearn and, and kind of relearn, you know, where he, he would eat spaghetti. And he's for some time, you know, kind of eaten spaghetti in such a way where he stuffs it in his mouth. And we were trying to teach him how to suck it up, you know, um, you know, string by string. And, you know, he kind of is uh, he's, he's observing how we're doing it, but he, he ended up still just stuffing it in his mouth. So, you know, that kind of opened up the point for me in, in relation to how we as, as teenagers or even adults, you know, unlearn and, and relearn things. You know, how, I mean, I look at, for example, uh, certain thought patterns or behavior patterns, like with, for example, myself in, 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 my, uh, in my younger years or younger years when I was in my early 20s, um, I, for example, dealt with thinking patterns and reaction patterns and behavioral patterns of uh, self-judgment, you know, where, um, you know, it's, it's also kind of uh, during that, uh, that age in, in, in my life where, you know, being so exposed to, you know, what you should wear and what your hair should look like and how you should behave and speak and, and things like that. And, you know, I used to exhaust myself in, in terms of, you know, always trying to, to reach and maintain that perfection in terms of what I look like, how I present myself, what I wear and things like that. Even, you know, with shopping and shoes and um, spending so much money and time on, on, on these type of things. And it was interesting because, you know, that's obviously a, a thinking and behavioral pattern that's been ingrained you know, in, in, into me and, and become so much part of, of me. For many years, I mean, I'm not saying it was only in my early 20s, it was coming from my teenage years um, that, you know, I just started naturally living like that. And obviously from there, from that judgment stemmed comparison and competition and jealousy and all sorts of things. So what was fascinating, though, was how, how long it took me to, to change that, that way of thinking about myself. Um, where it was like I started having a look at, all right, you know, what clothes am I comfortable in? How would I like to wear my hair? Um, you know, how would I like to express myself in, in terms of my presentation? And it was interesting because, you know, during that time, walking my process of, of writing and uh, forgiveness and corrective application, you know, starting my, my internal and external process of change, that, you know, there were still so many moments where, or, or even periods during that changing process, where my thoughts would still go back to judgment, where I would still find myself in shopping centers wanting to reach out for the clothes I would think everyone else would want me to wear. Um, or, you know, really having that urgency to go to the hairdresser, to do this and, and do that, you know. So... Um, this was like the, the phase or the period of, of what I've noticed with Caesar, for example, where he, when he's already in, 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 in a way integrated, a way of doing something, he'll first only observe for some time, maybe play with change, but, you know, not really fully integrating the change or becoming the change or applying it or even trying it out for that matter. So until eventually, you know, when I got to the point of, um, of 
change of real change you know where I started becoming comfortable with how I looked and what I enjoyed wearing and you know wearing it with um, people in, in social situations and circumstances you know every even still then every now and then you know these old patterns of thinking and reacting would kind of come up within me but you know because my change had been so newly integrated and become so much a part of me I could just simply not participate in those thoughts you know it was like these little thoughts that would kind of creep up inside of me and then I would just look at them and go uh -uh, that's not me anymore I've changed and within that journey and process you know it was quite fascinating because you know even sometimes in the future you know there is yet yes maybe a trend or you know something in 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 terms of um you know a way of of, of dressing or things like that 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 I actually like you know that I honestly um uh, enjoyed and then I would try it out and sometimes it worked sometimes it it didn't but it was interesting was that I was at a at a point of choice you know inside myself it wasn't that oh my god I had to um, you know uh, follow that trend or you know, remain in the mainstream of, of, of fashion and looks and, and, and things like that. It became like, okay, um, I like it or, or I don't. Okay, mm, you know, I can't decide if I like it or not. So mm, let me try it out, you know, just to see. Um, so, you know, for, for everyone walking process, um, this, this process of change, especially thoughts and behaviors that are compromising and I'm sure many women can relate to the judgment and the competition, comparison and jealousy and wanting to always think that you, or believe that you have to keep up with the fashion trends in, in some way or another. You know, that, I mean, for me personally, that process and experience was, was quite exhausting. Um, and within that, I, I kind of actually lost my individuality, you know, who I am and, and how I am, you know, being comfortable with me accepting myself being com really comfortable in, in, in what I'm wearing and, and enjoying myself within that. So, you know, they're, they're really in this process. Um, and I mean, not only women may be able to relate to this, but men as well, um, that you're going to go through a process of change. You know, you've got to understand, and I mean, there's even, um, as, as science has shown as well, that, you know, there even your your on a, you change on a, on a physical level as well within yourself when when you start changing um, how your body and your general self experience responds to to your self change and you know that you've got to be ready and prepared for the fact that change is going to take time you know just with Caesar as he is right now um, just kind of watching and observing and he might in the future give something a go but you know he'll go back to his old way of doing things but you just have to keep on pushing and standing by uh, that decision within yourself to change and just keep on at it until it becomes you I mean that's how we learn things in the first place I mean it's it's not like I I just immediately by the snap of my fingers went okay I'm going to follow all the fashion trends or, you know, dress like everyone, or dress like how I think everyone wants me to. Um, it was a process of thinking, you know, like, um, maybe I should. And if I don't, you know, what are my friends going to think? And, um, you know, I put in a lot of thought and, and feelings and experiences into that process of getting me to the point of thinking or believing I, I always need to be and look perfect. Um, so, you know... Just as I, I trained my 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 thinking and my experience of myself over time, it's also going to take time to 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 change your way of thinking, your way of experiencing yourself, and so the way of living. All right. Um, so yeah, that was a fascinating moment that that opened up this point and also inspired this video. So. Just as an additional assistance and support for those who tend to become a little bit impatient uh, when it comes to the process of self-change. Remember, your, your old patterns will always supersede, you know, especially in the beginning stages of change because they've been a part of you for, for months, for years, even a lifetime. But if you keep at it, if you stand by yourself in your decision to change, it, it starts coming through until it becomes a natural part of who you are and how you live. All right.
Thank you very much.